Hello, today is National Indigenous Day. I'm speaking to you from the unceded traditional territory of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, and Musqueam First Nations. ISS of BC is very proud to formally launch Welcome to Our Homelands, a video highlighting the richly diverse cultures and the pain-filled history of the Indigenous peoples of Canada. It also features Indigenous representatives from across the country extending welcoming messages to newcomers. This educational video targeting new immigrants and refugees is one of several initiatives of ISS of BC that we have been involved in over the past decade to build relationships between newcomers and Indigenous peoples. Given recent events that have increased awareness about racism in Canada, particularly racism targeting historically misrepresented groups like Indigenous peoples, we believe a video like this contributes towards the process of reconciliation. As well as the video created by Kamala Todd, a study guide is included, written by Corey Wilson, and these serve as a jumping point for further learnings of the Indigenous people who have inhabited these lands for over 10,000 years. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Kamala Todd, followed by Corey Wilson, who will say a few words about this film project and what it means to them. Tanse from the beautiful homelands of the Musqueam, Squamish, and Tsleil-Waututh people. My name is Kamala Todd, and I was blessed to be born and raised in these beautiful territories, um, but I am not of these lands. My own ancestors are from Prairie homelands. We are Métis and Cree on my mother's side, and my father is a uh, first generation of German immigrants. I am grateful that ISS asked me to create this film. It was an honor and a privilege and an incredible responsibility to try to contribute to the much needed dialogue around um, the histories of these lands, the histories of the first peoples who have been here since the beginning, since the first sunrise, and the history of colonization, which continues to affect us all. Canada has a long way to go in addressing um, the ongoing harms of colonization, the ongoing harms of racism and violence and exclusion and the need for Indigenous people's rights and title to be recognized, um, the need for new stories that recognize the depth of Indigenous cultures on these lands and our knowledge and laws and governance systems. And we have a long way to go in um, really telling the truth about how Canada was made. And so this was my own small contribution to try to condense so many things into a short film and to hopefully inspire ongoing dialogue to really try to build understanding. I'm grateful to all the people who shared their welcome, who shared their language, and who really helped to give a sense of just how beautiful and loving these lands are. And all we have to do is show love back to the lands and show love back to each other because this land takes care of us and these lands are indigenous lands. They are our homelands. And so again, I'm thankful to ISS of BC for the opportunity and the responsibility and the honor of creating this story with so many beautiful people, which reflects so much of the beauty of what I call Turtle Island. So enjoy. Please keep talking and listening and feeling the love of these lands and showing love back to these lands and to the people who have always been here and who continue to take care of these lands for all generations and all our relations. Hi, hi. Gila Kafla, my name is Corey Wilson and today I am speaking to you on the Musqueam First Nation. I am grateful to have lived, worked, and played on the, these Coast Salish territories for over 20 years. I was grateful to be involved in the Welcome to Our Homeland video and excited it is officially being launched. It's very important that everyone, including immigrants and refugees, know and understand the true history of Canada. 
a history that acknowledges the contemporary and historical place and space that Indigenous peoples occupy, and that your understanding goes beyond the headlines in the news. I have worked hard to ensure that people can see beyond differences. When I think about this, I am reminded of a speech by the former Prime Minister of Canada, Lester B. Pearson. How can there be peace without understanding, and how can there be understanding without people knowing each other? Particularly in this time of uncertainty and increasing racism, that it is more important than ever that we all take the time to dispel myths and to learn about each other. Together we are stronger, and all voices must be heard and every one of us must do our part to educate ourselves on the truth and ensure that we are inclusive and committed to making Canada a strong country. We have always been here. We are the indigenous people of these lands, the first peoples. Canada is indigenous land. Our roots are deep all across this country. We have been here for thousands of years. Indigenous people include First Nations, Inuit, and Métis. There are over 600 distinct Indigenous communities all across these lands. There are over 60 different Indigenous languages. Lillian Elias, in you wing min, Maunga Kai Kavit Kowe Huk Dunga, Mani Rutikran Kowe Nakdogun Ililu. White Haskell Halt Gulim Limt Bijap. Sego Sego Gwego are the Wayons Neon Gats. Ganyuka Hagan, you walk up one daughter that no art nowhere and you will get their lord. We got to noon in Jigar Isis. What when you pull out of Gino Horda learning at Dunk one egg and nada? Nina Michelle Sri Boy de Luisi. A clear we unumai. Well, die, better die or I used to see Hamo de Luisi in Canada. Tansena Wakumaganak, Madeleine in Snakasun, Sukaski Squint at Tehkawin, Sakatawaku Tsehnia. Indigenous communities are richly diverse. We have our own languages, belief systems, laws, but we also have common traditions. We share the understanding that we are connected to each other and all life on earth. It's important to give back and never take too much. Our laws are based upon ancient knowledge of how to live in balance with the earth and make decisions that benefit all living things, past, present and future. We are caretakers of our lands. In the 1500s, European settlers came here with very different values. They said our lands were free for the taking and they took over most of our lands and resources. Ignoring our laws and our systems of governance, the newcomers said they were the founders and they put themselves in charge of the new government. They imposed laws such as the Indian Act and Reserve System, which limited our rights and excluded us from the new society being built on our lands. They tried to change who we are as Indigenous people. For many years, important ceremonies like the potlatch and Sundance were made illegal. The Canadian government created the residential school system run by churches from the 1800s until 1996. 
Over 150,000 indigenous children were forcibly removed from their families and taken to residential schools where they were forbidden to speak their languages and practice their cultures. Abuse and mistreatment were very common. Today, Canada still has much healing to do in order to have equality and justice for Indigenous people. For example, almost half of all children in the foster care system are Indigenous. Over 150 Indigenous communities in Canada don't have clean water to drink. We are still working to protect our homelands and uphold our laws. Canada has apologized for the wrongs of the residential school system. There is a movement to build better relationships and to recognize that Canada was built upon the lands and resources of the First Peoples. We have survived. We are strong and resilient. We are reclaiming control of our education and restoring our languages. We are the fastest growing and youngest population in Canada. These will always be our homelands. Our lands are our history and our future. The land is us, the land is our language. Keep the worries that we've always had. It's the lives inside. We share this land. Let's work together to this heal the wrongs of our country and build a bright future for all. And I would like to welcome you to Keep Canada. Us Keep us free like it. I welcome you to Canada. I'm very glad that you chose this country to be your new homeland. I hope that we will meet one day as friends. Malalia. From the ground up, we'll find the path home. Feel pulled by the sun, wish I can go. We learn from the past, now we can grow. We're promised a chance to plant show. Go big, go far, there are no limits. I want to see change. So my soul lives it, they cut down the trees While we blow kisses, defend our home while they dismiss us